What's going on there, Throttle Lockers? Welcome to another video of Kickstand with a plan. Maybe I should have heated my own videos. The shit I was talking about. But, what I'm going to sit here and tell you is, uh, I've had a little issues with my bike lately. Yeah, mm-hmm. Even though I keep talking about in my videos of keeping up with your basic bike maintenance, I've had a little issues and all, and I've got to figure it out. But I've kind of figured it out now. Uh, but let's get to uh, what happened beforehand, uh, how I got to this conclusion. So yesterday morning I went out for a ride and, uh, well, actually go to work. And I was about maybe less than a quarter mile away from the gas station as my bike starts on. Blah, 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 blah. Oh. Well, hell, okay. It's acting like it's getting low on fuel. I need to get up there. So I turn it on reserve and I head on up. Get up there, turn it back on to on and fill it up and everything like that. And Well, I go inside, get my monster and my stuff that I usually get every morning. And, and I go out to my bike after fill my tank up and... What it start, idle just fine, but as soon as I touch the throttle, it's doing it again. That blah, 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 blah. So I was like, okay, let's see if I can do some adjustments. And I was messing with it. After 30 minutes of messing with it, I really couldn't get it to work. So I sat there and was like, okay, I need to get someone to give me a ride to work, and I'll just leave it here, and then I'll, I'll worry about it here after a while. And uh, so... I get a ride to work and all that kind of cool stuff and uh, sitting there all day thinking of what it could be. And I was like, well, maybe it's just the plugs. Maybe the plug's gone bad. So I get off of work and I have a buddy take me home. I picked up my truck and I had a buddy with another truck with a trailer come take, take the bike up because I need to get home and be the bike doctor. But while I was uh, out there, I started it up and tried to see what was going on with it and I let it run for about five minutes and the front jug would get nice and warm but the back jug would be still cold so I was thinking okay plugs so I got it back home and today I went to the store got some plugs for it and uh while I changed out the plugs got it all fired up it was still blah, 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 once I touched the throttle hmm okay so maybe it was a breather problem and now as you can see I've got the breather and everything all tore apart on it, trying to get it back up and running, just still doing the same thing. So I was like, okay, maybe, maybe it's a fuel problem. And sure as shit, I take the fucking hose off of the petcock and petcock, pitcock, whatever the hell it's called, and uh, drain a little bit of fuel out. Well, when I did that, I did it into a clear little jar to where I could see what was going on with it. And sure as shit, there was water at the bottom. So now I've got to sit here and clean out my tank. Now, if you don't know how to do that, oh, it's real, real simple. All you have to do is take the hose off and attach another hose from your pet pit or pit or whatever. Something cock, okay? All right, just there you go. That's what it is. It's, it's a cock. You got to turn your cock off, drain a little bit up, out, and then... uh uh, drain it all out and then uh, once you get it all drained out then you sit there and close your cock off and then uh, put a little bit of fuel in it and then slosh it around and then uh, open up your cock again and spit all out and then uh, do it again you got to do it twice all right and then you can fill it back up put everything back together and then your cock will be going good all right so that's all i'm really really say about this video if you didn't know how to do that well there you go at least now if you have the problem with water in your fuel tank you know how to fix it so always remember keep those throttles locked those tires hot and never ever forget to keep that rubber down and keep the water out of your cock